Okay, after months of deliberations and recording delays, I am proud to present the official Participation Trophies content shirt. Shout out one time to this video's sponsors, Out of the Closet and Powerade Zero. Get 10% off of the cancer you get from the this particular artificial sweetener. So yeah, right now I am basically doing a follow-up to a series of videos I did uh, last time around last year for Insolence, the previous EP, uh, where I reacted to videos on the internet of people talking about it because I need content for this algorithm. Now I feel like I should give a fair warning here. I am kind of tight with the whole music reviewing community on YouTube. Hopefully that won't lead to too much of a, a conflict of interest here. So going into this with participation trophies in particular, uh, man, I probably should have picked a uh, EP title that didn't require a pop filter. Oh wait, shit, now it's obscuring the face and I can't make a good thumbnail out of it, God damn it. So with this EP, I'm kind of fascinated by how people are gonna react to it, especially because, you know, Insolence was the first time that I really got any level of traction off a project that I made, especially given that participation trophies as the follow-up, you could say, to Insolence sounds nothing like it, honestly. And intentionally so, just because that's what the song's called for. But this could very well be the first time ever that I get people saying, like, I miss the old fully involved, which honestly would be kind of an accomplishment, not gonna lie. So basically to explain what I do in these videos, um, it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna be reacting to these reviews on YouTube or whatever other formats these reviews are coming from, whether in text or podcasts or whatever, seeing not necessarily what I agree with, more just seeing, you know, how I bounce off of their points, if it can lead to any greater kind of insight, since I haven't really talked too much in depth about the EP in like a lot of content yet. So hopefully, you know, this will glean a little bit of info and interesting stuff for anyone who might be interested. So much like last time, uh, the first person to put up a review in this fashion uh, was for Mr. Uh, Music Forever. He put up this review a bit over a week ago and I can see it already has more views than the Carly Rae Jepsen one, uh, more views than the Denzel Curry one, not quite as many views as the Tyler one, but you know, we're on our way. And yeah, time to slide these things on and see what the first impression I'm gonna hear is of participation trophies, and I hope you do not mind, my good sir, but I'm going to move it to a good 1.25 in order to cut down my editing time a little bit. So 15 minutes after that cut and one change in screen recording software later, let's get this thing underway and hit play right now. Hello everyone, I'm JG and welcome back to Music Forever, where today I'm going to be reviewing the newest EP from Fully Involved, Woo! Participation Trophies. This is one of my most anticipated projects of the year, considering the last EP to come from this music project that dropped last year, Insolence, was my favorite EP of last year. By the way, I'm going to be putting uh, my reaction to that in card and description, etc, etc. I predict this is going to be very much like a companion piece to, you know, that review. There's going to be a lot of comparing and contrasting, so take a look at that. It's a, it's, a, it's a good, it's a good stuff. Not just on, on my end, obviously. I'm just gonna take a second. Moving on. Overall, just a really great slice of modern pop punk that had a lot of grit and edge to it, but at the same time maintained a lot of the catchier elements that make pop punk, well, you know, pop punk. Coming into this new EP though, I was really excited to see what was going to happen stylistically considering I heard that this project was going to be a bit of a departure from the sound of Insolence. You see during the creation process of uh, Insolence and of this EP here, they were originally I guess supposed to be a single project following the debut album from Bully and Ball. Sort of. So this is something I kind of touched on in that premiere interview with Midline uh, that kind of came with Simmer, which I recommend you guys uh, checking that out too. It's kind of like when I first started talking about this EP. Basically out of the nine songs that wound up comprising Surprising insolence and participation trophies. Eight of them were written during the sessions of learned helplessness. I feel bad that anytime I bring it up, it's in a negative context, uh, since I am proud of that album. But in this case, like, I didn't really want to get like in over my own head with a full project again, so I decided to, you know, go at it in like smaller packages after that before really going, you know, balls deep with a full length um, again, which might be my next project, but who knows. And in this case, I just happened to see a really clear divide between, you know, the hard garage punky stuff about type 1 diabetes and the American health care system. And then over here, you got the singer-songwriter, synthy, acoustic-y, sad boy stuff. 
that would fit a more kind of chilled, more sonically weird palette. So those just naturally became their own things. So it is kind of funny thinking of this as the follow-up to that when, you know, the genesis of them were from around the same time. But, you know, the fact this was made after that, I guess, makes it a little easier. Stylistically, this project is a lot more mellow and laid back compared to Insulins, which is a lot more in your face and aggressive. And weirdly, this project also is a bit different as well. This project deals with doing nothing pretty much, but not in a good way, not like in a going on vacation and relaxing kind of doing nothing. It's more so the kind of feeling that a lot of young adults and even teenagers feel, which is being unable to get to the goals that maybe they have for themselves in life or maybe that other people expect of them to reach in their own lives, whether these uh, roadblocks come across because the person themselves can't quite reach yeah. them or because of outside factors. That feeling of just nothingness of being unable to do whatever it is out there that you want to do is really embodied here on this new EP. I think it's pulled off really nicely. You kind of nailed that perfectly, by the way. I kind of gave that cheeky tagline of music about not doing things. I feel like it's a nice kind of contrast, you know, how lofty I was getting on insolence. In this case, it's just a lot more kind of looking in and being like, yeah, I am not doing as much to reach my ambitions as I probably should be. Why is that? Your interpretations right now are spot on. And obviously, you know, feel free to have any interpretation you want of anything I write. But, you know, like I said in the last few reaction videos, like when someone does get it right on, then it, it warms your cockles a little bit. They do share some pretty common themes of just dealing with frustration in modern American society, in particular when it comes to the perspective of, say, a young adult or a teenager, for example. And given the fact that I do fall into that age category and I do, in fact, live in America, I could personally relate to a lot of the stuff that's being discussed here across uh, not just insolence that dropped last year, but also this EP as well. Subscribe for more relatable content. I think if there's any track on this EP that really embodies the overall vibe that all the lyrics on this thing are trying to go for, I think it's the middle track on this thing, Gaslighting, which sees the protagonist of the song essentially being the cause of their own problems in a way and just being unable to escape this, and especially when it's tied up with the rest of the instrumental to this track, which it really does help create this atmosphere on this thing of just being unable to escape this nothingness. The process of putting this EP together as far as the recording goes, it really was an exercise in like restraint. When it comes to, you know, just making straight hard rock, you know, freaking balls to the wall power pop it makes sense to you know go full on with the distortion and put in 20 layers of electric guitars this massive wall of overwhelming feelings whereas with a track like gaslighting you know it's very unlike any other track i've made aside from maybe fan or follower from learned helplessness and that its main instrument is this super mid-tempo groovy bass line and then everything else is just kind of like this little dressing around it that was a very interesting way of building a song uh so i'm glad you point to that one in particular. Another one of the more interesting tracks on this EP from a lyrical perspective is the track Reverb, which sees the protagonist of the song wanting to escape from their hometown but being unable to for one reason or another, whether because they don't have necessarily the talent to do so, or once again, it's just another one of those mental roadblock type things where they just feel unable to do anything at all. This track really does embody the frustration that I feel a lot of people out there certainly feel yes. when it comes to trying to get out of, say, a smaller hometown and try to go after maybe a more successful or exciting lifestyle or career or anything like that. This hometown where absolutely nothing there has anything to offer to you anymore. Essentially, and it's funny because, you know, obviously this track is very autobiographical to me. In the grand scheme of things, coming from a beach town in San Diego is not the most unprivileged background. I'm very aware of that. But at the same time, you know, a lot of what comes up in that song kind of touches on the idea, you know, in that first verse where, like, I feel like I've already experienced everything that this particular town has to offer. If I'm going to take that extra step to achieving that pipe dream of mine, then it's going to involve taking this extra step. And there's just something holding you back, whether it be like a sense of laziness or just a lack of confidence in yourself. In a way, it almost makes it a little more pathetic that it wasn't inspired by coming from a total nothing town, you know, because that gives you even less of an excuse. The closing track to this EP, if for just a second, is another one of the most interesting on the entire project, I feel, from multiple different perspectives. Lyrically, it's a bit interesting because I start to see some hope shining through in the lyrics here. It seems like the narrator of this track is at least trying to search a bit more for some happiness or peace in the world compared to some of the other tracks on this thing. And the fact that this track comes towards the end of the EP, I feel like it helps create this really nice arc overall, where at the end of everything, the narrator is, I guess, able to break away from some of the problems that pop up earlier on in the project. I just love the idea, personally, that there's this contrast where insolence ended so on such a we're fucked note and this one is just the complete opposite it, it ends on the most like uplifting note it wasn't even like intentional at first but the more i realized it the more i kind of i kind of dug it and the hook to this track as well 
feels a, a bit triumphant too. Maybe not uh, completely so because there is still a lot of the themes that are present on the rest of the tracks on this thing that you know seep their way into this track as well. And there is this sense of uncertainty that you get listening to the lyrics there on the song, especially during the chorus. Almost like the narrator of this track isn't completely certain of what they're saying, but they're just going to say it anyway and try to stick with it going forward. And the hook to this track as well is just really catchy and fun to sing along to as well. I really like how it's a really solid conclusion to this thing, and I like how it ties up a lot of the ideas introduced earlier on in the project. And it does help create a bit of yeah, a narrative exactly. in the EP as well, which is also something that I did like in Insulin, so the fact that that aspect was carried over into this EP is something that I do really appreciate. Pretty spot on that, um, that I love the idea of making the last track the sole banger on the record because that doesn't like happen a lot and especially with like the rest of the EP being in such like a somber sad boy kind of territory the idea of ending it with this arena rock bop with the slightly not entirely pessimistic message that arc was just really appealing to me the second it like presented itself to me while I was sequencing this however I still do like how on occasion Mark's vocals on this thing can become a bit more frantic and uh, frustrated sounding. For example, on the bridge of the first track on this thing, the title track, he does sound a bit more aggressive. He sounds a bit lost and anxious too. The vocals kind of remind me of something that could have appeared on Insolence, for example. Yeah, the vocal layering on there was, you'll probably see during the, make, the upcoming making of videos that there was a lot of moments on Insolence where you could really hear me straining, very like scraping on the ceiling of my range. And that didn't happen a lot on the CP, thankfully, which is like one thing that I really appreciate about the making of this. I think I feel a little more, bit more confident in myself vocally here. I'm a little bit more on my natural register. But that bridge, uh, when I did sort of like a three-part layering right there uh, and got a little more screamy, that's one that I'm, that I'm glad, you know, worked, for lack of a better term. Overall, I think that this is a really great EP. Maybe not quite as great as Insolence, however, for the most part, I'd say that the two EPs are about equal when it comes it. to quality. And the fact that this thing is trying a completely different sound just makes it a bit more impressive as well. Definitely just a really cohesive, punchy, to the point EP that has a lot to offer to its listeners. So if you're a fan of rock music, or if you're like a young adult or a teenager, considering I think you're gonna like some of the lyrics on this project, I would definitely recommend this project to you. It is just my own personal opinion, so if you happen to disagree, that is fine. If you disagree, it better have a freaking dang good reason. If you ask me, uh, subscribe to my Rate Your Music. Can you even subscribe to that? Just go, go to that page anyway. Say what you think. And while you're down there, make sure you also leave a like on the you video do and that. subscribe to the channel for more music-related content. And thank you for watching. Stay golden. Yeah. I mean, it's about what I expected, honestly, because uh, I did kind of spoil this for myself by going to the uh, Participation Trophies uh, Rate Your Music page, and I saw that he gave that a four star. I definitely look at my Rate Your Music more uh, insecurely than most people. Maybe it's a problem, but it it's kind of addictive. So I'm just going to stop the screen recording. Hey, Editing Mark here, coming at you from a coffee shop in Anaheim at about 4.30 in the afternoon, about a week later. So uh, that mark you see in front of you right now, uh, that is minutes before realizing that that uh, second screen recording software you spent so long switching to during the session of this uh, was not recording audio. So if you were hopefully wondering why there was no cursor in the JG video footage you saw in front of you, uh, it's because I ripped the thing directly and it took a lot longer to do, so I uh, hope you uh, noticed and appreciate that. Okay, bye. Yeah, thanks to JG for uh, putting that review together. I'm very happy that um, assessment of the quality of it aside, the fact that, you know, he got a lot of the themes that I was trying to get across down pretty, pretty spot on. And I'm glad that, you know, he was able to take some kind of relatability. As I might say a little bit more further down the line, um, this is definitely a more universal EP thematically than Insolence, just like on an, on an objective level. So I'm really hoping that that can be one of the main takeaways. Check out JG's channel, uh, check out the review, give him some love however you can. Next up, I'm, talk I'm gonna be talking about uh, my buddy Johnny's review over on, the over on Viral Rack, so stay tuned for that. Um, maybe some other people that uh, I talked about the previous time. We'll talk about it on their channels. We'll see. Oh, I never really introduced myself in the time I was doing this. Um, hi, I'm Mark. I do the fully involved thing. Um, hopefully, if you're on the channel, you already know that. But, you know, I just forgot to do the YouTuber thing. And now, if you excuse me, I got some more content to make.